Good afternoon, dear colleagues and guests. Today, on the 25th of March 2022, 3 o'clock Moscow time, I would like to open a meeting of the Station Council dedicated to the defense of uh, Fedorishev Kirill, scientific major 551 history and theory of politics, on the topic Evolution of the concept of education, Michael Ork showed political philosophy. By the order of Gnotov Alexander Valentin on the 29th of December 2021, number 13151 1, I, Volkova Anna Vladimir, Doctor of Political Sciences, Associate Professor, Professor of the Political Management of the State University, was appointed the chairperson of the Distation Council. The same order. Appointed the members of the Distinction Council. Let me introduce them. Tatiana Bulakova, Doctor of Political Sciences, Professor of the Political Management in Petipa State University. Shirin Yant Alexander, Doctor of Political Sciences, Professor, the Head of the Department of History of Social Political Sciences, Moscow State University. The following members are in the remote access mode. Mark of Boris Vasily, Peter Doctor of Political Sciences, Professor of the Department of Philosophical Anthropology in St. State University. Can you see in here us? Thank you. And Karipov Baltash, Doctor of Political Sciences, Professor of the Department of Universal History and Social Humanitarian Studies, uh, Kazakhstan. Can you see in here us? Thank you. But the applicant, Fedorishev Kirill Maximovich, is also present at the meeting. The scientific advisor, the Doctor of Philosophical Sciences, the, the professor, the department, uh, the head of the Department of uh, Theory and Philosophy at St. Petersburg State University, Gutura Vladimir, is also present at the meeting. I would like to ask the colleagues in the remote access mode to turn off your microphones, but please turn them off when you're given the floor. I would also like to say that all the official broadcast has been conducted uh, with live broadcast on St. Petersburg City University website. Simultaneous interpreting is provided. On the screen of the live broadcast, there is the indication of email address to which the listeners might send their questions uh, related to the content of the thesis and the presentation by the applicant, the scientific discussion, and thus take part in the scientific discussion itself. The technical specialists will send these questions to me and I will voice them during the discussion. The questions are to be directly linked to the presentation by the applicant and the content of the thesis. It is mandatory to indicate the name, surname, and job title of the author of the question. The questions are not related to the scientific discussion, the thesis itself and the presentation by the applicant as well as anonymous questions will not be voiced. In accordance with the procedure of awarding the scientific degrees of candidate of science and the scientific degree of doctor of science, in accordance with the local normative uh, regulations, the work of the Decision Council is considered to be valid if no fewer than four people take part in it and not fewer than three fourths of appointed members. Our Decision Council consists of uh, five people, not five are present. Best there is a quorum. I would like to issue a turnout list. I would like to ask the curator of the defense to, uh, to provide the turnout list. The approximate duration of the meeting is about two hours. First, a brief information about the applicant and the documents submitted and their compliance with the requirements. Answers to possible questions. A brief report by the applicant reflecting the main provisions for defense, about 15 minutes. Questions to the applicant strictly on the report. No more than two minutes per question. Answers by the applicant. No more than five minutes per all. Voicing external reviews, if any. Then the floor is given to the members of Decision Council with their reviews. 
about 10 minutes per speaker. The speech by the chairperson, about 10 minutes. The responses of the applicant to the remarks and questions of the Member's Decision Council. Open discussion. The floor is given to those willing to take part in this artificial discussion with specific question or brief summary of their view. No more than two minutes per person. All those willing to take the floor are to sign in the turnout list and prior to speaking, they are required to introduce themselves, uh, giving name, surname and job title. Then the technical services will provide me with questions, if any, received during the live broadcast. The questions which require more than two minutes to be voiced will not be voiced. The answers of the applicant are more than two minutes per question. The speech by the scientific advisor. Discussion by the members of the decision council prior to the open roll call, during which the uh, broadcast sound is muted. Voice count with subsequent entry of the results into the minutes of the meeting. Taking decision on awarding or non-awarding the scientific degree. And the final word of the applicant. Dear colleagues, are there any questions to the procedure? Since there are none, I will start implementing the procedure. First of all, I'd like to ask you to turn off the sound in your mobile phones. Colleagues in the remote access mode, please do not uh, turn off the sound of your mobile phones so that we could easily access you in case of technical failure. The thesis by Federica Kirill Muxinich applying for the uh, scientific degree of the candidate of political sciences, major 551, history on theory of politics on topic evolution of the concept of education in Michael Oakshire's political uh, philosophy was taken for defense on the 7th of December by the order 11777-1. Kirill Fedorishev carried out the research as a postgraduate uh, St. Petersburg State University student. The scientific advisor is the Doctor of Philosophical Sciences, Professor, the head of the Department of History and Philosophy of Politics, Kudrov Alexandrovich. The number of publications by the applicant reflecting the main provisions for defense are three publications. All three uh, are published in works indexed by the Ministry of Education and the Russian Federation. According to the curator, all the documents comply with the regulations of Budapest State University. The copies are found in the attestation file, as well as the curator of the defense. Prior to giving the floor to the applicant, I would like to ask the members of the station council. The members of the station council, do you have any general questions to the applicant? Is there the need to voice the entire list of the documents submitted for defense. Since there are no questions, I give the floor to the applicant. Time limit is 15 minutes. Kirill Maximovich, the floor is yours. Dear colleagues, dear chairperson, dear members of the decision council, dear guests, dear listeners, the topic of my research, the evolution of the concept of education in Michael Oksha's political philosophy. I think structural changes affecting the modern university are fertile ground for large number of discussions on the topic of recognizing higher education. The debate about it um, exists at all levels of communication. Fundamental problems are identified, significant number of proposals um, from a modernizing the education system are uh, introduced. Some observers determined the need to create a system of free education 
denying the normative nature of eradication. Others are trying to determine the list of canonical disciplines and great books that should be limited. Others believe that efforts to turn the university to effective education organization gradually reduce the process of teaching um, to a set of technical features, thus threatening the possibility of true learning. In the process of research, the Yale University uh, turned out to be obscured by the modern fashion for research for hidden goals of education programs to achieve them. As the world is overflowing with gold and agendas, it seems to us the temptation of academic institution to conform uh, to all those uh, ideas uh, comes into conflict with best practices. In this regard, there is uh, a demand for the study of the forms of organization of higher education. Compared to the concepts of freedom and democratic governments, um, has often been defined as a second order problem. Within the framework of liberal democratic theories, political education is considered in the spirit of the platonic ideal um, defined by uh, Karl Popper as political hygiene. Democratic theorists consider political education as a liberal democratic society, on the one hand, unnecessary, and on the other hand, dangerous since the process of sterilization of citizens is uh, functioning properly, thus the need for individuals to receive any political instruction becomes meaningless. Political theorists who dealt with the problem of civic education usually uh, focused on the indirect consequences of socialization. Thus, the increase in democratic participation was actually determined by the results of the more educational citizens. Philosophical heritage of Michael Oakeshott one of the leading representatives of the British tradition of idealism of the 20th century, is of interest. Oakeshott's political philosophy touches upon an impressive range of issues, such as the role of theory and method in research, the nation education tradition, the role of the university in political communication, correlation between teaching and research, forms of university organization, and the uh, applicability of the concept of liberal conservative synthesis in education. The main purpose of my work is the theoretical construction of the evolution of the concept of education in the political theory of Michael Oakeshott. To achieve the goal, the following tasks were identified. To analyze the process of institutionalization of European education, trace the genesis and development of the ideas of education in Western European political philosophy of the modern era, highlight the ideological and heuristical prerequisites for the formation of the model of education in the political philosophy of Michael Oakeshott. To study the main theoretical and logical provisions of uh, Oakeshott's political philosophy, identify the methodological foundations of the theoretical tradition of Oakeshott, formulate the meaning of the concept of liberal conservative synthesis in the political philosophy, and indicate its influence on the philosopher's understanding of the idea of the education. Explore uh, the model of liberal education to identify the key elements of the Michael Oakeshott University idea. The object of the study is the political philosophy of Michael Oakeshott. The subject is the concept of liberal education, the political philosophy of Michael Oakeshott in its historical and ideological sense. The emphasis on uh, the author's political philosophy is justified by existing discussions about the relationship between the political theory and political philosophy. Thus, the Oxford Handbook of Political Sciences defines that for a long time the problem of the identity of political theory was how to effectively uh, position itself in three dimensions in relation to political science, history, and philosophy. According to uh, the Tianlik Seva, the similarity of the problems and methodology of the research as well as the lack of clear boundaries between the two uh, areas uh, leads to the fact that researchers, mainly English speaking, often identify political European philosophy and political theory. Oakeshott himself in uh, the work What is Political Theory, identifies the method of political theory with a philosophical vision of the world, characterizing political theory as theorizing or understanding the true sense of the world, limited by the concept of politics. As for the theoretical and methodological foundation of the thesis, the study is based on developments in the field of historical contextualization of political theories which include Cambridge tradition of intellectual history, uniting supporters of two different approaches, conventionalists and contextualists. 
Um, the most authoritative representatives of the first direction are the supporters of Quentin Skinner, while the second direction is characterized by adherence to the position of John Pocock. The scientific novelty can be defined through the following provisions. The main stages of the development of the concept of education in political philosophy of Michael Oakeshott are analyzed from the earliest reasoning to the latest concepts. The value of the theory of liberal education of the philosopher in the process of social construction and modern political communication is determined. The connection of the idea of university education by Oakeshott with the historical and dialectical context uh, is compared, as well as with the political and philosophical rhetoric of the 17th, 20th century. The study contributes to the development of domestic works uh, devoted to the study of political philosophy, Michael Oakeshott. Uh, there is uh, a whole area which is linked to uh, Oakeshott's studies. And it conducts a uh, constant revision of the published works by uh, the author. The thesis mm, pays attention to a number of works by Oakeshott, which previously have not been analyzed in the scientific circles. The key results of the research are the following. The study of the historical and philosophical context of the formation of Oakeshott political philosophy allows us to determine not only the main stages in evolution of the university tradition, but also to analyze the uh, specific uh, problems for the Western political science of the 20th century. They include the uh, influence of positivism, the humanitarian knowledge, the priority of scientific methodology, greatness of behaviorism, the opposition of liberal conservative theory. Michael Oakeshott is one of those political philosophers whose initial principles were formed in a special historical and philosophical environment under the influence of various philosophical schools, thinkers and trends. Significant influence on the formation of his political and philosophical reasoning uh, was carried out by such thinkers as Montaigne, Hume, Hobbes and uh, St. Augustine. Education in the view of Oakeshott plays the role of a guardian of public life, creating an opportunity for the development of individuality, unlocking the potential of a citizen and forming the conditions for the emphasis and interest in the space of conversation of many voices. Uh, his model of education is a complex of a holistic uh, system containing key approaches to resolving theoretical and practical issues, balance between research and teaching, development of modern education programs, formation of a university efficiency criteria. Oakeshott's reasoning about the role of the university in public life fits into the classical republican tradition of political theory. Michael Oakeshott characterizes the university as a stronghold of liberal education through which true liberalism is able to defend itself against external threats. The concept of classical education by Michael Short has significant intersections with the idea of um, university education, classical education, um, and uh, civic education. Thank you for your attention. Are there any questions based on the report and the presentation by the applicant? If any, My question is the following. Who else in Russia researches uh, this uh, issue? Why in the list of references there is not a single thesis based on the topic? Of course, there are Thesis on political philosophy by Oakeshott, by Alexandrovna Chmaeva. I um, refer to a number of her articles, not the thesis herself. In 2010, there was a separate thesis um, dedicated to the political philosophy by Michael Oakeshott on uh, methodology. Only one thesis in Russia. As far as I know, 
yes, there was one. In 2006, there was a historic work linked to methodology and history. Such ideas had to be mentioned. Well, I mentioned it in the text. And the articles are not the thesis. I would like to explain that Chemaeva uh, was my postgraduate student. She died not so long ago. That's why I uh, asked this question, and she was a great researcher. Dear colleagues, are there any more questions? Kilo Maximovich, my question is the following. It is linked to the concept of uh, soft power. For education is often viewed as a part of soft power, as its instrument, especially when we talk about the uh, balanced system of education and the implementation of such um, the standards. Uh, were linked with certain uh, red tape and pressure. Uh, how would you estimate what is the influence of Walkshout in his concept into forming this soft power concept and the idea of uh, appeal of the image of the country? In particular, Michael Oakshaw doesn't talk about any national specifics and he's just ideas about the structure of university fit uh, the general European communication. And his ideas uh, are related to soft power and the stability of the state as such. Thus, education um, the concept uh, by Michael Orkshire might be viewed as a form of soft power. Any more questions? If none, we will proceed with the members of the Decision Council with their reviews and remarks about the thesis and voicing of external reviews, if any. I would like to remind you that the applicant might provide response to each review separately or a general response after all the reviews are voiced. I would offer the applicant to provide response to each of the opponent. I would like to uh, provide responses after all the uh, reviews. So the applicant will provide responses after all the reviews are voiced. Then we proceed with the reviews of the members of the Decision Council. And since they were all published on the university website, I would like to uh, ask the members of the Council to voice only the key concepts and uh, focus on the remarks and questions. The applicant might take his seat. Alexander Antevich, the floor is yours. I would like to say that the thesis is successful. The work is of high quality, even despite the fact that uh, he didn't indicate uh, the thesis of my late postgraduate student, but I'm sure that in uh, the doctorate thesis you will indicate the thesis by Jamova, who was the first to introduce this name in the context of political science in Russia. The relevance of the work is obvious. Because the, the system of education is under reform and 
political analysis of political philosophical doctrines which form the basis of modern education, in particular of higher university education. And the analysis by Kirill Maksimovich of the concept of education by Oakshot is carried out within the context of the evolution of world political philosophy, where political epistemology and the educational tradition of the British philosopher is of key importance. The methods of reconstructions, which are called philosophical reconstructions, are used in um, the thesis. Historical analysis and comparative analysis methods of analysis and thesis and critical approach. What I liked most of all was that the applicant uses the elements of um, political textological analysis, especially uh, the earlier works by Oakeshott. The key evolutions of the political philosophy of Oakeshott are presented the key features are analysed, the main motives of the change of theoretical paradigms are identified. And Kirill Maksimovich succeeded in finding the ground of the key thesis concerning the problem of education in the works by Oakeshott. This is the basis of the theoretical model of liberal conservative synthesis. The definition of the uh, key feature of the political philosophical idea by Oakeshott allowed the applicant to comprehend the methods and the approach by Oakeshott. The um, ground for legitimacy of authority, the structure of the government and the role of the modern university in civic life. The thesis is a research work. The applicant used about uh, 212 reference materials, 148 uh, in English. There's a lot of the foreign works were introduced into scientific uh, circulation based on the concept of liberal education by Oakeshott. These are all the trunk points of the thesis. Nevertheless, there are certain drawbacks. I would like to identify only one drawback. which does not undermine the general positive uh, view on the uh, thesis. My remark is linked to the lack of the uh, critical analysis of political philosophical ideas by Oakeshott um, in the face of obvious crises in the system of the modern liberal university education. Very often, the culture of liberal education, the idea of culture in the modern society is a form of describing social evolution, according to Lumen, became localized in itself. Probably this idea should have been emphasized. Nevertheless, the above mentioned remark does not undermine the quality of the research, which is characteristic of a theoretical importance and scientific novelty. Uh, the text of the thesis, of the thesis itself, is well written. The scientific uh, research is relevant and reasonable. 
the conclusions are reliable. The thesis will be useful for further research in the area. The main results of the research are published in five works, three of which uh, are published in uh, publications in this by uh, the Ministry of Academic Sciences. The thesis by Federishev Kirill Maksimovich on the topic, the evolution of the concept of education in Michael Oakeshott's political philosophy corresponds to the main requirements of St. Petersburg State University order on the 19th November 2021 on the order for awarding scientific degrees in Federal State University. And up the applicant, the Rishif Kiriotis, has been awarded the scientific degree of Candidate of Political Sciences, Major 501, History and Theory of Policy. Clauses 9 and 11 were not violated by the applicant. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Alexandra Tinch. This is Alexandra the floor is yours. Well, in general sense, the research conducted by Kirill Maksimovich is um, dedicated to the definition of the modern approach to, to the system of education in the context of social changes which await the world. The role of education, of humanitarian, political and civic education. The author solves this goal based on the works of Michael Oakeshott in the context of diversified ideas and is uh, a way to reconstruct the method of Michael Oakeshott by reproducing the discussion with many voices. We are used to doing analysis, but synthesis is an art in itself, and I'm very happy that. Uh, Kirill Maksimovich succeeded in this synthesis. I'm not going to repeat the colleague and will pay attention to only key issues of the thesis. The thesis focuses on general and specific methods. The historical conceptualization of political sciences was touched upon the tradition of intellectual history, which led to the synthesis of uh, conventionalism and traditionalism. The thesis, based on the wide historical philosophical context, discloses the evolution of political philosophy by Oakeshott. and the key changes of university tradition in its logic, uh, linked to the influence of positivism and humanitarian knowledge, domineering of behaviorism, and opposition of liberal conservative theory, decrease of interest to political theory and fundamental studies. As opposed to it, the Applicant states that Oakeshott sees that education is the institution which preserves uh, civic uh, life uh, as an institution to preserve the ideas and uh, serves as an environment of communication of free voices, so to say. The concept of education created by Oakeshott answers theoretical and practical questions that arise nowadays and the modern universities face. The scientific novelty lies in the analysis of evolution of concept of education within the framework of political philosophy by Oakeshott. The meaning of the theory of liberal education was uh, considered. The construction of 
postmodern political communication inter influence of the ideas at university education over other social institutions in historical and other contexts. The uh, research paper has individual style. It has, a, it is coherent. Provisions for the defence are substantiated by the author of the thesis. The ref list of reference materials corresponds to the topic of the research. Nevertheless, there are certain drawbacks in the thesis. The author only indirectly talks about um, the problems linked to the analysis of a uh, world view function of science and of political science in particular. In paragraph 3.2, the Addis University Education by Michael Oakeshort, the author quotes uh, Michael Oakeshort in the following way. Uh, there is a difference between the role of the scientist as a researcher and as a teacher. As a researcher, uh, they look for knowledge, but their main task uh, as teachers is not to teach um, possible heirs, but to create the controlled awareness of students into the type of reasoning and thinking characteristic or typical for the particular area or worldview. In paragraph 3.3, Humanitarian Research and Political Philosophy by Michael Oakeshort, the author, when talking about the perception of the uh, author's uh, viewpoint on the role of political science, uh, says that the scientific problems uh, sometimes coincide with a practical interest. Politology might release from modality uh, ambiguity. Only those pertaining to normative languages of political debate uh, are separated from the descriptive concept. Nevertheless, uh, the applicant does not interpret very important issue identified by the applicant himself. How should the didactical uh, approach of philosophy linked to the controlled awareness of students into type of reasoning characteristics of a certain viewpoint? Nevertheless, the above mentioned drawback does not undermine the positive uh, overview of the research work. The thesis by Fedorich of Kirill Maximovich on the topic The Evolution of the Concept of Education in Michael Oakeshaw Political Philosophy complies to the main requirements of St. Petersburg State University, Order 19th November 2021, 9111-81-1, on award in the scientific degrees in St. Petersburg State University. And the applicant for the dish of Kirill Maximich deserves being awarded the scientific degree of the candidate of political sciences, major 501, history and theory of politics. Clauses 9 and 11 of the uh, procedure of awarding scientific degrees of uh, candidate of sciences and the scientific degree of the doctor of sciences was not violated by the applicant. Thank you very much. Boris Masilevich, the floor is yours. I'm ready. First of all, I wanted to thank the Council for their trust in me. Uh, it was uh, of interest for me to study the paper. It is uh, relevant, and I agree with the previously mentioned reviews that this paper uh, turned out to be well-timed. Well, of course, we do understand that this is a utopia of the 90s, 
when we thought that everybody could live uh, peacefully and nicely. And when um, we, uh, as, as young philosophers, uh, went to uh, Germany as a first uh, trip after the fall of the uh, Iron Curtain, and we were provided with certain books on the topic which we considered rather naive. And I remember at the time there was a popular love of liberalism. Currently, we are in a stricter situation, tougher situation, and this uh, concept of soft power was rightly used in terms of education. Thus, there might be we might talk about new aspects of education. And what was neutralized with the concept of liberal education turns out to be a uh, topic nowadays. And uh, already then, Oakeshort being in the center of liberal philosophy, understood the influence of conservatism. As far as I remember, Thatcher was a conservative. Maybe uh, British liberalism were a little bit similar to a Russian uh, liberalism. You remember that our liberals did not oppose the Tsar. And the relevance and importance of the research paper are seen that uh, in the fact that this uh, difficult philosophy was used by the applicant as the ground for discussion of very important theoretical issues. Theoretical relevance of the work uh, lies in the philosophical uh, ground. Usually politologists lack such philosophical ground. In the, the case of today's thesis, the author was able to focus on philosophical prerequisites, and they were actualized. And I agree with Tatiana Alexandrovna, who uh, emphasized uh, the difference of a theoretical and normative which can be found in philosophy and political science. There are theories that are debatable. Seminars and discussions and talks can be conducted concerning such theories. But nevertheless, there are uh, such things as the system of values, system of traditions, uh, which we view today on the basis of of a relationship between Russia and Europe, we uh, can't find the reasoning why we don't understand them and they don't understand us. So these uh, values and aspects are very important for the modern political science. It's necessary to identify this difference. If we understand that uh, with theory, we can discuss, uh, argue, and provide arguments. As for uh, normative factors, it is necessary to talk about tolerance and mutual uh, understanding, which are rather complex issues. How can we live peacefully uh, in case of different normative systems and cultural backgrounds? Oakshot's concept is interesting in the fact that it is applicable to digital learning and online education. It is obvious that personalized communication is lacking. What, according to Orkshort, is called communication, face-to-face -face communication. And I believe that this is rather relevant. And the author exemplified it in quite detail. Of course, there are certain utopic ideas, but nevertheless, I wouldn't reject this uh, idea, uh, neither would I reject the liberal uh, philosophy.
and some ideas can be used, especially in emergency situations. I'm not going to speak in detail about the content for the applicant provided detailed information about the structure, the goals and tasks. As for novelty, Oxford is well translated into Russian. But the question was related to only one thesis to go to Oak Short, which is not right, of course. But the author uh, paid attention to Russian thinkers. Very often, young applicants um, quote those uh, European or American scientists. And uh, the applicant today quoted Russian scientists, which is rather pleasant. The number of similar research papers is not significant and it's necessary to continue working on the issue. Number of political scientists create a theoretical and practical approach based on the ideas of expressed in the paper. As for the practical usage, we have the uh, Bolonsky process and the Institute of Free Arts and Scientists coexists with St. Petersburg State University. And uh, from the viewpoint of Oakshot theory, this institution analyzed the situation. And since non government organizations from the West um, are under suspicion, very often we have the situation either everything or nothing, which is not absolutely right. If we take the Chinese of power, for example, it means that they take everything into account. Everything is nice. Water, harmony, flowers, any colors of flowers. And they are much more cautious. These institutions teach young learners to have a look at everything with the eyes of Europe and Russia. And the methodology of education has a certain positive aspects which should be replicated in our modern educational system. I'm very happy that Alexander Andreevich agreed with me and he expressed almost everything out of what I was planning to say. Nevertheless, I do have certain remarks. Based on Oak Short, we um, might see that search for a third route. Uh, the problem of liberalism lies in the fact that um, we lack common values. In Russia, we have vertical values. And liberals, they are a bit vague about the values and traditions. and relying on reasoning is a way out. Probably uh, the author should have um, focused more on Oak Short contemporaries and possible opponents. What I mean is Rose and Hoverman. It would have been positive to compare these concepts and thus you'll be able to identify certain interesting concepts. The comparative mm, idea could have been expanded. But in terms of the methodological um, idea, this work is very well formed, very usual uh, for graduate students don't give details about methodology but you have a very broad approach to methodology 
and the logical problems of political studies um, was analyzed. As for the institution of liberal education, the author lives in the modern day world. Making the uh, past ideas modern is not absolutely right. It's necessary to understand the original ideas of the author. So it's very important to be accurate and not to fantasize about the meanings that the author had. How are we to understand the Oxford concept? Well, according to one saying, to understand Plato means to understand him more than he understood himself. Very often, we can see that the crowd-breaking scientists did not understand the importance and the greatness of their theories. And the modern look on old authors is inevitable for uh, contemporaries not often understood the importance of their works. And the place of living and the uh, timing forms the position of the author. But the applicant did not reflect upon the uh, experience. The applicant talks about Oxford in the context of historical situation which is a right approach, but this approach should have been applied to uh, the applicant's own research. What I mean is, what's the meaning? What is the outcome? Uh, what were the results of the liberalization of the Russian government? It is necessary to answer these questions, at least in my assumption. And I hope that in the future thesis, you'll be able to work on it. And then a more detailed estimate should be made. It's necessary to understand the functions of education. Uh, in Ukraine, we can see that the history teachers did a lot with their own hands. Of course, economics played a role. Of course, gas problem played a role. But the role of education is huge. And education as an immune system, as the defense criteria, uh, has to be discussed. And the society of the Russian Federation should not be behind the iron curtain. It's necessary to have balance. I would recommend the applicant to think about these ideas and to say what's the role of the education in these political processes. Finally, I'd like to say that the thesis by Federico Vindalik uh, the concept, evolution of the concept of education Marx Oxford political philosophy, corresponds to the requirements of the British State University and the applicant to Dereshev Kirill Maksimovich, which has been with the scientific degree of candidate of sciences, major 551, the history and theory of uh, politics. And points 911 were not violated. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Professor. Baltasin Mohamedovich, the floor is yours. The thesis is dedicated to the topic of the analysis of the theoretical basis of the modern concept of political education and a modern humanitarian knowledge. Oakshot is one of the greatest philosophers of the 20th century who influenced the development of civic and political education in different aspects. 
reconsideration of his works using the instruments of the modern political science um, is the aim of the research. The author combines theoretical and practical aspects of the research in the paper. Federisic says the structural changes characteristic of modern university uh, trigger a lot of discussion based on the organization of high school. A number of authors works on the explanation of the necessity of conducting research in the sphere of civic education. Many works uh, dedicated to political theory and political science um, are published starting from 1980s. Up till now, there were no works dedicated to comprehensive analysis of the problem of education um, in social political philosophy, Michael Oakes not. Uh, it means that it was necessary to work on this negligence. And this is the key aspect in the thesis. The author analyzed the uh, heritage of Michael Oakeshott through the lens of his uh, ideas universities in the works of the British philosopher and his uh, colleagues. Political textological analysis of different aspects of interpretation, the approach to university education, and political philosophy uh, played a great role in development of this thesis. Understanding the uh, benefits of the uh, university ideas, uh, Federishev uh, focuses on a large number of reference material, including more than 140 uh, foreign researchers with contemporary uh, articles and monographies. The theoretical methodological basis are the historical conceptualization of the uh, written by Skinner and Oak. Paying attention to the philosophical understanding of uh, Skinner and Austin linked to the ideas such as intention, meaning, context, and so on. Federishev analyzes the key ideas of the evolution of theoretical approach to defining European education and university tradition. And um, the work starting from uh, early Middle Ages till progressive education uh, are analyzed in the thesis. The author considers fundamental elements with uh, great attention on the fundamental liberal conservative synthesis. For liberal conservative synthesis, the elements of Christian tradition create a basis for further conceptualization of the classical uh, education by Michael Ocean. The tasks were to um, analyze the process of institutionalization, to see the genesis and development of ideas in education, to identify the theoretical and methodological provisions for political theory by Oakeshott, to characterize the process of uh, constructing humanitarian education, to consider the problems of liberal conservative synthesis and the theoretical grounds in the theory of perfect educations. To identify the key characteristics of university education by Michael Ocean. One of the main uh, positive aspects of the thesis is the uh, stress on the interconnection of education, higher education, with the historic and ideological context. The author analyzes the theory of liberal education in the process of forming of the modern political communication in Western Europe and the US. 
the uh, work does have uh, the above mentioned remarks. Nevertheless, the uh, research paper is uh, of high quality. Um, we believe that the author should have uh, paid attention to antique tradition, uh, while the author only mentions the ideal, uh, Plato's ideal. Uh, although I believe that the author should have focused on it more. All the conclusions are reliable. Five works were published. Three in the uh, publications from the list of the Russian Academy of uh, Education. The thesis by Fedorishev Kirill, uh, The Evolution of the Concept of Education in Michael Oakeshott's Political uh, Philosophy, corresponds to the requirements of the British State University Order of 19th of November 2021, number 11181 slash 1. And the applicant deserves being awarded the scientific degree of the candidate of political sciences, major 5 to uh, 1, history and theory of politics. Thank you. Thank you very much. And I would like to be the final speaker. I would like to say that uh, the general overview of the work is very positive. This work is highly modern, it is uh, profound, and the theoretical and uh, practical applicability is probably thus important because of the acuteness of political problems and uh, the recent situation in the world politics. It's necessary to analyze the political education, which is impossible to be done without the reference to key works of thinkers around the world. Kirill Maksimovich is right, saying that Michael Oakeshott is one of the political philosophers whose initial principles formed under a certain philosophical environment, a special philosophical environment. This is why his legacy is so widespread and diverse. And decades later, we still find some new images and nuances in his work. Philosophical um, heritage in of Oakeshott includes pluralism, diversity of the modern society. That's why it is so interesting to study his works. The uh, goals and tasks set uh, seem reliable and well-grounded. I'm not going to repeat them. The only thing I want to say is that the thesis with such tasks and goals was carried out in such a uh, high quality view. The structure of the dissertation is absolutely clear and the task submits are the author are met. The author identifies the early, middle and late stages of his activity. Um, this testifies the changes in uh, the ideas of Oakshaw throughout life. The author pays more attention on understanding the process of education, its type, great effectiveness criteria. I would like to cite a number of theses which seem very modern. Uh, the philosopher, for example, asked, was appealing to readdressing the issue of tradition and the practice in Russian and Western University requires understanding. It's very important to mention the structure of the values and the perspective of the development of higher education. I believe that paragraph 3.3, uh, the role of humanitarian studies, based on the of fragmentary uh, ideas by auction becomes a very pressing issue. As for conclusions, I would like to pay special attention 
to the fact that education, according to Oakeshott, makes the, the um, opportunity for development of the uh, civil personality because of the pluralisms of opinion. The concept of a political education of Oakeshott is a comprehensive system which can be used to solve applied and theoretical issues. They include the balance between research and teaching, a development of a modern um, education groups, and finally the effectiveness of university and group university. Oakeshott characterizes university as a form of liberal education when true liberalism might protect itself from outside um, external factors. The concept of classical education by Oakeshott has intersections between civic education, our political science, and the level of the work is really high. Uh, nevertheless, I do have a few remarks, or rather recommendations. It would be highly interesting to listen to the author's opinion on these issues. Uh, the aim was of the thesis was theoretically reconstruct the evolution of concept of education in the political theory of Oakeshott. The first chapter uh, considers might be considered to be excessive. It has a lot of uh, material which are not directly linked to the topic. Uh, although the you know, materials presented there is absolutely interesting and allows us to understand the uh, uh, intellectual background of the ac applicant, um, it is not necessary to provide such a detailed overview of the European system of education. In the second chapter, the applicant addresses certain ideas expressed in chapter one and gives more detailed uh, comparative analysis. Take, for example, Hobbes, who uh, influenced the worldview by Michael Oakeshott. If you have a look at the thesis, Uh, tasks um, four and nine, these uh, tasks are not key ones in the text of the thesis. Seven paragraphs of chapter three uh, might be too descriptive. It would be better to see the discussive nature in the names of the paragraphs. Auction is interested in political philosophical discussions of his contemporaries and uh, there are links to Berdav, Strauss and Mungame and this information was not covered upon in detail. Maybe it should have been included in the uh, thesis. Probably it is left out for future research. I believe that the thesis um, was positive thanks to analysis of the um, opponents of Oakeshott and his uh, supporters, which could have um, allowed to analyze the influence of his concept on the discussion of the um, modern day educational state and the development of university education in the world and in Russia. All the above mentioned remarks uh, do not undermine the overall positive viewpoint on the topic. The thesis is an original research paper and the quality and the quantity of reference material is substantial including modern day literature. The language is clear. Quotations are uh, in the right form inserted into the text. The applicant participated in conferences of different levels and published works, including articles, mm, articles in uh, 
publications in despite the Ministry of Russian Education. Thus, the thesis by Fedorov Maximovich and topic the evolution uh, of the concept of the education in the Mike Oakeshott's political uh, philosophy uh, by the order of the 19th of November 2021. And Fedorov Maximovich, it is has been awarded the scientific degree of the uh, candidate of political sciences, major 501, history and theory of politics. Dear Kirill Maximovich, the floor is yours. Kirill Maximovich, the floor is yours. You can begin with the answers, or your responses. I would like to begin with the uh, remarks to Boris Vasilievich, first of all. Boris Vasilievich, first of all, thank you for such uh, an in-depth review of my thesis. There is no consensus to which of the cons uh, areas, conservative or liberal, um, does uh, short belong. As is often the case with the truly great philosophers, uh, they try to cover all aspects of human existence. And uh, one of such works is on the human conduct. So but there are certain difficulties in uh, defining uh, the approach by Oakeshott. Um, thanks to uh, our approach, we uh, avoided a uh, dichotomic approach and uh, we uh, were able to classify uh, the approach by uh, Oak Short uh, without any uh, diversion from the main line. Well, classical, uh, as for the second question, the classical university, uh, the problems of liberal education have formed, mm, have been the case uh, in modern Russia. And classical university is capable of unlocking the potential of a liberal conservative synthesis in higher education. And um, I would like to agree with Oak Short that it's the university that offers a person a complete education experience, not only due to the logical plan, but thanks to the special atmosphere. Uh, it's very interesting how a consensus, consensus is achieved. Ukshin talks of conversation as the idea of a um, multitude of voices and the agreement of voices, but as a counterfactor, he has the position that any idea, any um, point of view can exist and form part of this uh, human conversation until it becomes exclusive and total. And this mechanism, according to Oak Short, uh, is prevalent. It requires a further conceptualization, more detailed conceptualization, and um, comparison of the two systems. As for uh, liberal educational institutions, uh, we believe that classical university in general, um, can unlock the potential of synthesis of liberal and conservative ideas. And many years later, uh, after reading the uh, works, the author is subject to the spirit that the philosopher had. So, of course, I agree with 
Oak Short uh, in this idea, since university provides people with the uh, comprehensive experience since it creates the collective educational process. And when talking about that, uh, Oak Short means a large number of details, which we uh, have been deprived of because of the pandemics. Uh, the thesis mentions only a number of these ideas of university and the key characteristics are tradition and history. Well, the lack of history and the lack of tradition uh, lay the ground for the traditions uh, that we can see in liberal educational institutions. And they do not understand their true purpose, their role and status. In my opinion, the university has existential crisis and goes into a position to life and turns into a mere educational organization. Further on, I'd like to provide response to Tatiana uh, Alexandrovna Kolokova. Thank you very much for such a detailed review. I'd like to agree with your remarks about the lack of disclosure of Oak Short's reasoning about the dialogical function of science. Well, this uh, idea had to be covered in paragraphs 3.2, 3.3. However, the focus of attention was on humanities as a whole. Uh, the ideas of ideological function of political science seem to be extremely important for further conceptualization and formalization. And upon closer, upon close examination, the role and significance of political uh, science and in the context of this triad of classical education, political education, and civic education, um, they seem to be fundamental and central for humanitarian knowledge. And this uh, triad is um, classical for Oak Short. In other words, when we uh, view it in details, detail, we can talk about the central position of political sciences within the framework of humanitarian knowledge as a link, which is a referee in a way within the framework of humanities. Alexandra Andreevich, I'd like to thank you for your feedback and comments on the thesis. Thank you for uh, taking part in the meeting. And thank you very much for your positive outlook. As you rightly noted, the system of modern liberal university education experienced a structural crisis. Dear Boris Vasilievich also mentioned it today. And I just wanted to supplement my previous uh, statement uh, using the methodological apparatus of Michael Oakeshott. An analysis of the conversation, the most prominent theorists of the sociology, such as Bruno Latour, Pierre Boutier, uh, Nicola Luhmann, especially Luhmann, because they have um, very significant works on university and they have a critical ideas and Lumen is even much more critical than Oakshot. And this analysis, culture analysis, sociological analysis, mm, requires further conceptualization within the framework of uh, separate research and separate study, probably linked to cultural analysis. Thank you. Dear Beltash Karipov, thank you very much for your reviews and comment. Um, as for the concept of the actual classical education concept, there are many ideological intersections with the ancient tradition of education. The first systematic organization of European education appeared in ancient Greece. Uh, educational practices can be mentioned uh, by Herodotus and Plutarch. Development of theoretical problems of teaching and learning can be traced back to Plato, Xenophon, and Aristotle. 
the unified direction of traditional classical education was maintained in the Roman era. Uh, and we find it quoted in Cicero, Quintilian, St. Augustine. Uh, from the list, I, I used only the works by Augustine the Blessed. Due to the direct relationship of the text with the developments of Yaroslav Pelikan and Michael Oakeshort. And the thesis, I consciously formed the boundaries um, based on university, so it was limited to university, which is why the first chapter devoted to ideological prerequisites to the analysis begins with the period when the education becomes mass and universal, the emergence of professional school programs, formation of the first university. I had to have a look at the history of crisis as um, university as an idea and as a corporation, as organization, and to identify similarities, for we know that history is not a cycle but a spiral. So I wanted to identify this staff crisis which was faced by Europe in the 17th century and 18th century. That's why I wanted to identify the similarities with modern day. Thank you very much for your review. Anna Vladimirovna? Let me express my gratitude for your detailed review of my thesis. You have clearly defined the intention of my next work, uh, which I'm working on at the moment, on the issue of civic participation and responsibility. Uh, Oakshot important position, it was repeatedly mentioned in my research. Probably it requires certain uh, separate anthropological analysis. Osho believes that none of us are born human. Where will we learn? In other words, a classical university forms a citizen out of an individual in the broader sense of the term. The idea returns to the ancient tradition where free man and citizen are identical in many respects. This idea is largely shared by Osho himself. And this is an excellent uh, ground for further research in the field of civic consciousness and state security and harmonious development of all political institutions. In my opinion, a citizen is alive while the state is alive. So the citizen is more interested in preserving the state since this is a matter of his existence. Um, and this has part brings us back partly to the first remark about liberal education. Do we consider it liberal and can we see it as part of liberal theory? And in here, oh, strange as may seem, I'd like to view liberal education uh, in the framework of this uh, liberal conservative synthesis where we cannot be in the extreme point, only moving from one point to the other. As for the excessive volume of the first chapter, um, it seemed to me important to show the continuity of European university tradition to highlight the crises that occurred in the system of higher professional education throughout its development. In my opinion, without a detailed consideration of these ideas, uh, probably that was the influence of the department as well. Well, nine years of uh, studies in the faculties had influence on my reasoning. And without uh, detailed considerations of the points, it's possible to form a clear idea of the logic of Oxford's reasoning. And universities and organizations closely integrated in public life face new challenges and change. I agree that there are uh, self-sufficient and exhaustive sources for many of the points described in the first chapter. But the value of this part of my thesis is determined by the structure of the work, its ideological uh, sense, and thus, such a possibly overly detailed analysis of the historical context was important. Turning to the second question, I'd like to know the detailed analysis of the political philosopher Michael Oakeshott was presented in domestic political science in 2010 by Chemaeva and Natalia Sandrovna. In this regard, many points that were worked out by Chemaeva, including the analysis of Oakeshott's early reviews of Berdam and Hamid Strauss, were not included in the thesis. Nevertheless, some comparative analysis of, of positions of Benjamin Oakeshott and Strauss is present in the work. As for analysis of the works of followers, the thesis presented a small list of researchers uh, who are John Motcrow, Edmund Neal, Kenneth Minigo, 
uh, Demity Boucher, Kevin Williams, David uh, McLean, Timothy Fuller. I agree that the topic is extensive and uh, it needs uh, further research. Thank you. And I'm planning to uh, work on this topic further on. Thank you. Dear colleagues, dear members of the Decision Council, are you satisfied with the responses? Yes, fully satisfied. Now we can give the floor to the members uh, of the audience who would like to request the floor. None requested the floor. Did we receive any questions uh, online? So far, we haven't received any uh, questions via the online broadcast. And I would like to give the floor to Vladimir Alexandrovich Gutov, the scientific advisor, to provide a brief characteristics of the, the way the work was conducted. As for the work, we found harmony and consensus. Nobody forced him to take uh, oak shorts. Probably it uh, was because uh, he, from the very beginning, from the early ages, years of being a student, was interested in the philosophy of education. I was not uh, pressurizing him uh, for for the choice of his uh, topic of the thesis. This is the principle of liberal education that Michael Oakshon always um, voiced. Um, I'm interested in the concept of um, the liberal conservative the concept of Michael Oakeshott. Thomas Green uh, founder of liberalism ideas and Ernest Berkeley who is a liberal philosopher and the founder of the Englishness concept as for Russell and others uh, linked to mathematical logic and philosophy there are fewer works in these domain which is understandable Oakeshott formulated under the new conditions since his main works were published in the first part of the 20th century, the general principles in the polemic form of university free education. And these principles um, follow the deep tradition of the university, in-depth tradition of the university. It's very difficult to prioritize who auction was against who was he opposing, sometimes not calling their names. Specifically, at the end of the career, Oakshut was uh, radically opposing of the neoliberalism concept linked to the Margaret Thatcher's cabinet. Margaret Thatcher was trying to impose the model of university, which was formed in the US of the 20th century. That was the trend of uh, technical approach, which was a distortion of Gumbelt model. When Gumbelt was creating his uh, Berlin University, scientific influence of uh, pedagogy was uh, supposed not to be technical, but what's supposed to be educational. But later on, it was stated that there was a rough process of technical development of universities. And when in post-communist Russia, technical universities were called only universities. That was the repetition of the practice uh, 
that you say faced in the 20th century. And Oakeshott said that university is a type of living. That's an institution where knowledge is obtained for the sake of knowledge, referring to Plato. Kenneth Minote is similar to Michael Oakeshott in his ideas and optimized this concept. They are saying that there are words of true politics, the world of university and uh, the simple world, and they should not intersect. I'll try to be brief. Boris Vasilievich said, mentioned our trip to Heidelberg in 2015. There was a council of rectors, and we decided to put the German university and um, into the Volon system. The German rector said that we, uh, as a lot obedient citizens uh, might be interested in uh, entering the system. But we are against of uh, medical universities and legal schools being part of the system. Oakshot ideas are so deeply rooted. Oakshot rationalized British traditions of the university system, which, according to the worldview, Oxford of Cambridge and others, were considered to be the basis. And it was an absolute lie that American constitution was artificial. Uh, it was the personalization of the British concept of freedom with the reception of Montesquieu and Locke concept. American colonists created the constitution based on the um, concepts initially founded by Britain. Margaret Tencher wanted to introduce the rough American model, decrease the financial support, and allowing the ministry to intervene into the works of university. When I was in Cambridge, I was told what happened. Uh, St. Anne College uh, professors said that they are going on strike. About 20 ministry uh, cars approached. Margaret Thatcher came out of one of the cars. About 300 professors looked in the eyes in her eyes and she never came back to Cambridge. And this is the influence of Oakshot reasoning. I can talk much about this topic and I'd like to thank the members of Decision Council for supporting Kirill Maksimovich. He deserves being awarded with the scientific degree of the candidate. And I hope that he will continue his work in the field of philosophy of education. Thank you for emotional, improvised, scientific speech. Dear colleagues, would uh, anybody like to take the floor once again? Thank you. Thus, we put an end to the scientific discussion. Prior to the final uh, vote, I'd like to ask the members of the Decision Council and the applicant, uh, do the members of the Decision Council have any questions or objections to the procedure of the meeting, uh, especially those linked to the remote access mode? None. Then we move to the next 
step in the procedure. Prior to the voting, dear colleagues, we might announce a break in order to discuss the results of the defence for muted sound. Do we need such a break to discuss the results of the defence? No, there is no need to uh, make a break. Then we continue with the meeting. I raise the question of awarding uh, for Dorisha Kirill-Maximovich the scientific degree of the candidate of political sciences, Beta FIFO, one history and theory of politics, an open vote call. The time is at 4 o'clock 35 Moscow time. I would like to stress voting for each member of the decision council agrees that clause 11 of the procedure was not violated by the applicant. The clause 11 states that the applicant of the scientific degree has to refer to the author of the source of uh, reference materials or results. When using the results of um, research papers uh, in the thesis um, carried out by the applicant uh, in person or as a co-author, the applicant has to identify this fact in the thesis. The decision is considered valid if no more than three mem no fewer than three members of the decision council voted. Four. I vote for Boris Vasilievich. I vote for Tatiana Alexandrovna Kulakova. I vote for Boris Vasilievich. I vote for Baltas Karipov. The applicant for Dorish of Kirill Masilovich deserves being awarded the scientific degree of candidate of political sciences. I vote for. And I, the uh, chairperson of Volkova Anna Vazimirovna, vote for. So we settle the vote count. Esteemed guests and colleagues, out of five members of the council, Five members voted for, none voted against, none abstained. The decision on awarding the Fedorish of Kirill Maksinovich the scientific degree of candidate political sciences and scientific major 551 history and theory of politics is adopted, unanimously adopted. And I give the um, applicant opportunity for the final word. I will be a little bit emotional, I suppose. First of all, I'd like to thank the chairperson and all the members of the Decision Council for um, taking part in the uh, scientific discussion. Thank you very much for the positive uh, remarks of my thesis. I'd like to thank my scientific advisor, my teacher, my curator uh, for his supervision. Middle Age culture invented a very important maxim which functions till today. That's the tandem of master and disciple. And this is the tandem that we had. And I uh, would like to say that my master was one of the best masters. And thank you very much. I want to thank my relatives. We know that the route to uh, the defense of the thesis is tricky. There are many pit stops uh, which uh, often want to be the final points. So thank my family for support. I would like to congratulate the applicant with awarding the scientific degree. It was a great uh, thesis, very uh, clear and comprehensive defense. 
So microcontulations to the department, to the members of the decision council, and I declare the meeting closed. I thank you all for participating. I hope that we will have further meetings and um, conversation with further works by Kirill Maksimovich. Please mute the sound. Thank you.